Cancer, hi, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, love tarot reading. All right, so Cancer, um, I was channeling your energy and there is something very powerful happening for you guys. A huge change or shift. Um, it is welcomed. It's not anything bad or negative. It is something either you're manifesting as a collective or um, something that you've really been hoping for. So... I don't know. I feel like it's really good. So I can't wait to get into your reading. Um, so Cancer, remember time is fluid. Energy is fluid. So when you're drawn to see this video, that's when it's probably meant for you. All right. So uh, also check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs for messages there. Okay, you guys and stick around till the end. I have some fun new things that I'm going to try out. So stay tuned. All right. Yeah, look at your overall energy regeneration. There's something big and powerful happening, a huge change um, coming your way. So, wow, 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 wow. All right, TikTok. So it's something with divine timing. Uh, need time, takes time, time in cycles, time to heal, time to manifest the right time. Okay, so, wow. This could even mean like this is your time, Cancer, to shine. Um, so big things are happening for you. Look at Treasure Island at the bottom of the deck. What? Wow. All right. So we're going to take a peek at your person. Keep in mind, you. this could be your energies. It could be flip-flopped and reversed. So let's see what's going on, Cancer in love. All right. Current energies, please. What is going on, Cancer? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, you guys. We're almost close to the 10K giveaway. We're getting there. All right, what else? Oh, this one was flipped. The Emperor. So we have Queen of Pentacles, the Shadow side, and the Emperor. So we have double Capricorn energy and Aries energy coming through. So you, you could either work with this person or this person that you're dealing with could be very money driven money focused or there could be some kind of like controlling nature to them or a need to want to take control so this could also be you wanting to kind of take your power back or take control of a situation or that's this person's energy coming through here you could be dealing with a uh, capricorn or an aries could be anyone though I feel like you're very loyal to this person, Cancer, and that could be what's bringing through some toxicity here. This person may have, like, been codependent of you, but at the same time, like, is controlling here. Uh, then we have Knight of Cups, uh, Pisces energy. An apology might be coming your way or a romantic love offer gesture. Page of Pentacles. What is that here for? What's going on for Cancer in love? Leo energy. There's a lot of people here showing up. We got Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, Knight of Cups, and King of Wands. Is there a lot? Do you have choices or options, Cancer? Or is this person like... Is there a roller coaster of different energies with this person? Because I'm feeling, I'm feeling like there's like toxic nature, controlling nature, and then it's like an apology. And then it's like, it's back to the same old song and dance here. Hmm. What's blocking this connection? For cancer what's blocking this that's too many it's blocking this connection please show me clearly so someone may have not wanted to commit we have four wands in reverse as a blockage so something possibly to do with house home leveling up a commitment Two of Cups in reverse. Cancer, this person, I, I feel like um, time's up with this person. 
Time's up. Um, I don't think they valued you, treasured you, saw your worth, saw your value, wanted to build with you. You're transforming. You have a new life coming towards you. You have a new new life. I feel like maybe there's a new person coming towards you. We'll keep going, though. What else is blocking this connection? I'm going to dig in and see what's coming towards you after this. What else is blocking this connection? I, I just, I don't care for this person's energy. Sorry, cross watcher. I mean, take things how they resonate, okay? The world. Yeah, it's like either you guys lived at a distance from each other or this person just wouldn't start a new cycle. I feel like it could have been passion-based, sex-based, um, but this person wasn't protecting this, this connection. I feel like they were manipulating you, tricking you, trying to control this situation. And then it's like when they felt you starting to disconnect your energy, they would come back with an apology, but nothing would change. Maybe a few days, a few weeks to keep you around, to keep you stuck. This person, was it's like they wouldn't commit. How does this person feel about you? How do they truly feel about you? I feel like there is like chemistry or passion, attraction, but I feel like that's all that was keeping this connection going. Maybe not for you. You, I feel like you wanted more. I feel like you were very loyal to this person. They know you want commitment. They see that you want commitment. They see that it would be a wish come true for you for them to commit here, but they're moving real slow. They could be seeing now that you're moving real slow towards them. You're not really jumping. Yeah, see, they they want to keep you stuck. How else do they feel about you, Cancer? How else do they feel? The lovers. So they feel the soul bond connection, or they know that it's almost like you're giving an ultimatum. Like, choose me or get out, go, move on. So we have Gemini energy twice coming through here, Virgo energy. So we have Page of Wands and Knight of Sword. This person, either this person has very wishy-washy in and out, which I'm already getting energy, but this is how they feel about you. I almost feel like, like at some point maybe they like called or texted and like you would come rushing in or rushing back to them and it's like now they almost expect that from you but I feel like now you're you're kind of like no no you can rush in as much as you want to try but I'm not gonna let you anymore I feel like you're standing your ground with this person with this connection Let's see what wanted to come out. Yeah. Sleepless nights, high anxiety, ten of swords, painful ending. And walked away. Yeah, you finally walked away where you're in the process. Everyone's on different timelines, right? You could be going through the madness right now. But look at this. A painful ending, stabbed in the back, betrayal, sleepless nights, high anxiety, replaying events in your head or asking yourself why. And then finally, you're like, I, I'm just done. I'm walking away. There's too much conflict. There's too much confusion. I'm taking off to find victory and success. Yeah. I, I feel like you have something big coming towards you. That's why I'm like really itching to get there here. <laughs> All right. What's the potential outcome uh, for this, this connection? What's the potential outcome? So you showed up. Queen of Cups. Cancer energy. Whoop. And then the star Aquarius energy healing. Yeah, you are going to heal. There could have been third party stuff going on. That came out twice. You're going to take some time to heal and manifest some kind of a wish. I think you're just, you're done. Time's up for this person. Yeah, from a third, third party, third party situation. 
So third party, you guys, could be a person, place, or thing. You know, they could be a workaholic. They could be controlling. They could be, um, you know, some kind of an addiction or, you know, shopping, spending, drinking, partying, whatever, sex. I don't know. Yep, you're going to cut this person off. No more apologies. No more apologies. Oh, there was one more down there. I don't know when that came out. Yep. You're done. No more. Knight of Wands. Is that in reverse? Yeah. You're cutting off this person big time. From passion, sex, an apology, emotions, you're boom. Done. This is why. Look. You got like a huge change in perspective about this person. Their true colors came out or you just got completely fed up with their toxic nature, their toxic ways, their control, their addictions, their whatever it is, whatever it is, this toxicity, you are done. What's coming towards you? What's coming towards cancer in the near future? What's new that's coming towards you? Show me clearly. What is this big transformation? What's going on? The emperor again. All right, so an Aries could be coming towards you. No, nope, this—that's that person's energy still with the devil again. Three of wands, three of cups. This person is actually, I feel, gonna be waiting for you to come back. Like, like I said, it's like they expect it. Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups. Yeah, see, you're gonna disconnect your energy and this person's like, well, I can't walk away from you now. Oh, they're gonna try and push harder and harder. But I feel like you've, you've made that decision, Cancer. Queen of Swords, there, there she is again, Libra Energy, cutting them off, cold, cut off, you're turning your back, to ch it's repeating itself to chase after, it's literally like the same story with a whole different deck, King of Wands, yeah, you could um, have a Leo coming towards you, a Leo, Aries, Sag, a King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, yeah, see, they're going to try every tactic in the book here. You're going to reject them. There's them trying to come through with an apology again, trying to be this king of pentacles here. But you have a wish fulfillment coming. You have someone who sees your value, sees your worth. What else is this? Tell me more. Ace of Pentacles, a new stable beginning, building blocks, yep. This could be, wow, this could be someone from your past. Like someone that maybe you dated long ago that's coming back. You're abandoning this other person and you're going after, there's somebody else coming towards you. I'm telling you, I feel you know who this person is, Cancer. I don't think it's somebody like brand new. You may have been friends with them, went to school with them, met them through a friend of a friend at one point. Like you, you know, I feel like you know who this person is that's coming towards you. Again, they could be a Leo or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. New love, commitment. You have new love and commitment coming here. You you may have options though. There might be competition for the these people. You might actually, for some of you, stay single for a little bit and just kind of date. But you do have a good option coming towards you. 
Awesome, awesome. All right, what's the biggest obstacle you're going to have to overcome? The burden. Healing from this. This person's not going to let you go easy. Even though they didn't want to commit to you, they're not going to let you go that easy. I, I don't like that energy. <laughs> In a sense. Yeah, so overcoming this burden and finding yourself again. That's going to be your biggest obstacle here. Have that new vision. Hold that new vision of what you're trying to manifest, this new life here. Listen to your intuition, your inner voice. Big messages for you, Cancer. All right. What else? You may not even see this new person coming your way. Denial. That's this person. Repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface, crossroads, divergent paths, choices, confusion, confusion. Follow your intuition. Control. Yep. Stagnation, delusion, release the need to control situations. I feel like this is just saying that person was very controlling. Cycles, momentum force, life cycles, stay grounded in, in the now, healing, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you're going to take a little like break here from love. You might date a few people and then this, this new person is going to come out of the blue and then receive open-minded, abundant, ready at your time to receive. So there's a little bit of a process that you're going through here, uh, Cancer. Uh, in order to release all of this and, and heal. Um, but you got someone awesome. Look at love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. I feel like this person's going to kind of come out of the blue. You're not going to be expecting this. Uh, and healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Heck yeah. Yeah. It's your time. All right, I'll get a moon message, and then I'm going to go through letters and uh, zodiac signs, numbers, see who you're dealing with, and if anything uh, pertains to you there. So stick around, stick around, stick around. All right, what other messages do we have for Cancer? That's too many. First quarter moon in Aries, step into your power, new moon in Cancer, and relax. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's see. Let me get some letters, initials of who you could be dealing with or who could be coming towards you. All right, we have N, D, and U. N, D, and U. That could be their initials or the beginning of their name. Doesn't have to be. All right. Let's see. What do we got for numbers here? We have 3, 2, 12, and 1. So it could be January, February, March, or December, or the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or 12th of any month for a birth date, any anniversary, whatever. If that means anything to you. And then what zodiac signs might you be dealing with? Cancer. All right, we have Scorpio, Scorpio, Sag, and Leo. All right, so double Scorpio, Leo, and Sagittarius. So those could be signs you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be, um, but place that where you see fit. Cancer, that is what I have for you this week. Please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to book a personal reading. Information's in the description box below. And until next time, Cancer, love and light. Take care.